God is so good. Welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. We greet you in the name of the Lord. Uh, it is indeed our pleasure to spend this time with you. We give holy greetings to our Hallelujah. Bishop mm -hmm. Charles E. Blake and Mrs. Mayo Blake and the entire West Angeles family. We do encourage you for this particular show to grab your Bible, your pen, your paper, and take some notes and just um, notate what we're talking about because we have a subject that is near and dear to all of our hearts, to our hearts especially, and we want you to get all the information. And also at the conclusion of the show, you will see our email address and our fax and our phone number. If you so desire to give us a call or contact us, do that. Again, we say welcome and we love you. We really, really do. And Pamela Webb is here with me, as always, as my co-host. And I'm just glad that you're here, Pamela. I'm glad to see you, Dr. Lewis. Thank you. And how are you doing today? I'm doing just great. I love that color on you, the but multifaceted color dress that you're wearing. It's kind of like my personality, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you said that. Okay, now the viewing audience is going to remember that about you. But you know what? Shh. I just want to be quiet and silent. Okay. And attentive. Okay. Because our topic today is, does the Lord speak? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if we're making too much bolsterous sounds, okay. we really can't hear him speak. Okay. So okay. that's our topic. Does the Lord speak? Okay. And I really want to find out okay. whether or not if God really speaks. Mm -hmm. And of course, to join us today, we have the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Holly <laughs> Leonard. Amen. Holly Amen. Leonard, we welcome you. Amen. Holly is the executive director of the Children's Department Ministry mm -hmm. at West Angeles Church. Yes. And so Holly, not only does she deal with the babies and, I, and those who are going to replace us one day, Amen. but she's a woman <laughs> of <laughs> God in her own right. Really, they're going to replace yes, us, that's huh? that's right. One of the these next, days. That's right. Our future that's right. The next representative. So you have a key responsibility, and so Holly, and I welcome. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he, in every moment with those see? babies. Thank God see? he put it in your heart, because <laughs> he didn't quite put that <laughs> in my right. heart. So and I, I love am, it. Oh, great. But we, but we all wow. are called to a particular that's function. That's right. Have huh? a certain gift mm -hmm. and talent. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about, does God really speak? And uh, so let's, let's, let's sort of discuss that subject. Well, number one, <coughs> since there are so many gods in the uh, universe, mm -hmm. which God are we talking about? Does God really speak? Um, and before we go on, why don't, we, why don't you read the Hebrews 1, 1, right. 2. So we're going to read Hebrews, the first chapter, verses 1 and 2. And this is from the new uh, translation, King James translation. Okay. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophet, verse 2, has in these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world. Well, you know what? Now, before we even start, it's going to uh, take faith mm -hmm. to even believe faith. Oh, that God a, speaks. Right. It is and faith. you know what? And it's also going to take effort to, to sort of uh, say that God does not speak, to make the choice to think mm -hmm. and to conclude that God does not mm -hmm. speak. And so whether one realizes the type of faith that they're using or the type of choice that they're making, uh, they're going to have to make a choice one way or the other, mm -hmm. to choice to believe or choice to not believe because mm -hmm. God certainly is speaking. Right. Now, which God are we talking about uh, before we even go on? Because there are so many gods, small g. But we're talking about we're talking the big G. The big G. <laughs> we're talking about the Genesis 1 God. All That's right, all right. Created. The created all right, God. All right. Mm -hmm. We're talking about that one, mm -hmm. the one who created heaven and earth. Yes. The all one right. who has already forecasted what will happen in Revelation. Mm. Mm. Who that had no... Go on, Holly. Amen. Go, you can plead that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go on. Please, you. <laughs> and that is the God that, speaking from a child's point, mm -hmm. that... It's so easy for them to receive mm. where you try to explain it to some of the parents that are non-believers. Mm -hmm. It's much difficult. It's much difficulty in that task. Mm -hmm. right. But for the children, mm -hmm. they, oh, but mommy, don't you understand? He did this. He yeah, did right, that. Right. Oh, but who put the stars in the mm -hmm. sky? Mm -hmm. And the parents are, well, let's look at the scientific uh -huh, side. But exactly. the children See. are always. Well, you know, when we go to grade school, mm -hmm. when do you learn? They said the best learning ages is from what? I think four, maybe in three. In the early stages. Maybe six being about the something highest. Something like that. That's, I mean, that's when you learn. Mm -hmm. And we can learn A, B, C, D, E. Two plus two is four. Mm -hmm. We can learn that George Washington was the president. Were you here? Okay. 
Yeah. Well, you, no, no, I wasn't here. But you were taught that, <laughs> uh -huh. and, you and you believe. You know. And believe. You know, because mm -hmm. the science book or the history book tells you that. Mm -hmm. Yes. But this good but book this here <laughs> tells me something else. That's right. It tells you know, me that so in Genesis one, that God created uh -huh. the heaven and the earth. Yeah. And it said, in the beginning, mm -hmm. God. In the, in the beginning. beginning. In the beginning. God. In the void. In the void. Nothing. In the void. Nothing. He was before <laughs> the beginning. And beyond he, understanding. He yes. And he will be beyond mm -hmm. forever it. and ever. <clears throat> and so we really encourage our audience that uh, to think about it. now for those who might not say who might say there is no God. Well, let me just uh, ask you this: What might you do if you find out that there really is the living God? Mm. Because see, when we go before Him in judgment, it's not going to be a second chance. It's not going to be oh, oh, oh well, give me another chance. You know, I, you know, they told me, and I yeah. believe it was no. a wonderful show they had on television. But that's exactly. not the reality. No. Of exactly, it. and so. We will challenge you to make a choice to believe in the true and living God. We we invite you to look at your to get a Bible mm -hmm. to to believe that in the beginning God created yes. the heavens and the earth. Not it just happened. It was, wasn't just a big boom and it happened. But God actually there is actually a God and He actually does speak. You know when you said about that the big boom the theory is is the big bang. Uh huh. And I remember one of the ministers had said. When God said, let there be, uh -huh. there was the man. <laughs> there was the <laughs> man with his voice. Uh -huh. that's spoke right. things into being. Exactly. So that's that bang. That's, that's a big that's bang. What, that's the bang we know about. Okay. That's the big bang. <laughs> let me yes. ask you this. Because there are many gods in the universe, how is our God distinguished from all the other gods? How, what, what, we have a living God. Mm -hmm. We have a Holy Spirit that lives in us. Mm -hmm. We have a Christ that died on a cross and rose again. Mm -hmm. We have more than a piece of paper mm. we have more mm. than arrangement of flowers mm -hmm. to come home and pray mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. that can do nothing in return uh -huh. for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so our god is alive he's alive, alive a living god he's living he's a intelligent god. a god that talks <laughs> back <laughs> yeah. and hears us speak because we're made in his image made in his image hmm. made he, in didn't, his he image. didn't give the dog to speak no audible like he does exactly mm -hmm. But he gave us the privilege mm. because we in his likeness and his image. Making mm -mm. each of us perfect. Perfect. Mm -mm. Mm. May I read please Isaiah, um, from Isaiah uh, 10 through the 17th verse. It says, but you are, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation, Isaiah uh, 43, 10 through 17. Isaiah, Isaiah 43, 43 uh -huh, chapter 43, uh -huh, verse 10. 10 through 17. And it says, but you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord. And you are my servant. You have been chosen to know me, believe in me, and understand that I alone am God. Oh, yes. There is <laughs> no other God. There never has been and never will be. Verse 11 says, I am the Lord, and there is no other Savior. First, I predicted <laughs> your deliverance. Yes, yes. I declared what I would do, and then I did it. <laughs> I saved you. No foreign God has ever done this before. You are my witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. 13, from eternity to eternity, I am God. No one, uh -uh. no <laughs> one can oppose what I do. No one can reverse my actions. The Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel says, for your sakes, I will send an invading army against uh -huh. Babylon. Uh, and so um, basically mm -hmm. the Lord is says, look, in verse six, 15, he says, I am the Lord, your uh, holy one, Israel's creator and king. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the seas. I call forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. And he goes on to, to give his bio. Establish, establish. Yes. Who I am. Who I am. Nobody yes. can oppose mm -hmm. God. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, the world says, well, if there is a God, why does so much tragedy happen? If there is a God, why do people get killed in floods? And, and why, why does this happen? And why does that happen? But what we have to understand is that God created the world. Mm -hmm. And he wanted us to experience the happiness and joy yes. and the loveliness of his creation. Right. But then when Satan so chose to sin or when the angels 
chose mm -hmm. to sin, mm -hmm. then naturally that brought That's down right. what God had created us. God right. never wanted us to to experience the the, the uh, death and 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 the tragedy, and pain, pain no, and we illness. Brought that and on we brought that ourselves, right. and we still bring on bring that on ourselves when we make the choice, everyday choice of the decision that we make. Mm -hmm. We're bringing that on our own, but it's just good to know that there is the mm. God. And he is distinguished above and amongst other gods. And he, you know, he's ahead of all of the gods. Oh. Yes. Wow. And, okay. and Pam, Pamela, how many mm -hmm. times have you gone through a Red Sea experience hmm. where he's had to open up the sea and let you walk on dry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody but a god. <laughs> and that's real. That he has control that's very real. over the universe. But if you weren't listening <sighs> and speaking and having a relationship, we would have never known that we had a dry land path right. in the middle of that sea storm. Mm. <laughs> where, where it was not the supposed deliverer. to be a dry path. Yes, right. it's not, we were not supposed to survive <laughs> what we have survived. There are times when I, sh I should I should have been crazy right about now, and that's real. And you not know? sitting here. Oh, no, I'm, here. I'm saying crazy out yes. of my mind. Yes. Or crazy yes. that blow my brains yes. out. Mm -hmm. yes. But the sweet, sweet, lovely, soft voice of God has spoken into mm. my heart to let me know, and also through his word, through the Bible, right. to let me know that no matter what, that I can yet have hope and joy and peace in him. But like you said, it's key that we must have a relationship with, with him. You. Because see, we're talking about uh, benefiting from inside the room when you're standing on the outside of the room and the door is closed. How are right. you going to benefit from what's happening inside, inside. the room? Mm -hmm. You cannot benefit from that if you're on the outside of the room with right. the door closed. Nope. You can only no imagine. Yeah, oh, no. You can only imagine what's going on uh -huh. in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy for you to say what's not going on, but you really don't, you don't know because you're not on that side. Yeah, you're on the outside <laughs> with the door closed. <laughs> right. Door and so closed. come on in. Yeah. Come on in yeah. into the room. <laughs> Open up beyond the door and see what is really going on <laughs> up in here. Up in here. <laughs> I like to just add something to that. Please. I um, I had been going through my own storm, mm -hmm. and in your privacy of your home, you don't have to put that smile on all the time. Oh, Girl. No. no. I called myself praising him, <laughs> but every time I turned around, ooh, but woe oh, is uh -huh, me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And my 16-year-old daughter, Jordan, she came to me one day and she said, Mommy, it's going to be all right. See. God has already answered the prayer. Mm. Now you need to smile and rejoice through it. I said, well, I have been praising him, but she said, now it's time to let your smile return. Oh, I said, well, it was wow. here on the exterior, but when I got on the interior of the <laughs> home, and yeah. the moment I began smiling, the word from God just started, it just took over my took body. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> smile has not left since. Praise and God. And that was a very powerful word coming from, from a 16-year-old. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. So it is in the praise, yes. but it's in hearing, hearing. and speaking yes. and exactly. listening to in the relationship. But if she didn't know me well enough, exactly. mm -hmm. back to that relationship, exactly. there's no way she would have been able to have noted that. Mom, you're not smiling like exactly. you normally smile. And isn't it wonderful wow. that he is so mm. in tune with our lives. He cares so, the Lord. He, I don't want to keep using mm -hmm. he. I want, I want yeah, to be real Lord, clear who sure. we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> we're talking about. God, our Heavenly Father, is so in tune with our life that he knows how many hairs we have on mm -hmm. our head. Don't he count knows, the gray ones. <laughs> <laughs> he even knows how many gray ones. Amen. He knows how many That's right. uh, grays oh, we've eliminated. Yeah, eliminated. Oh, <laughs> eliminated by what, via the color, okay? Um, <laughs> but, 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 but it's so wonderful to know that we have a God who never sleeps, never slumbers. No, never slumbers. He says, I won't even nod because if I nod, I've taken my eyes off you. Oh, and no I'm not, no blink. No and I am so in, in love with you that I'm watching I'm watching you from head to toe. I'm watching you to make sure that nothing That's happens sweet. to you because wow. I love you. Mm. It's nothing like being in a wholesome relationship, love relationship. Love relationship. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like being in a wholesome relationship. And so when we understand that God really speaks, what are some of the ways that God speaks? Well, we had a, just a good one right there. Just right Through there. children. Through, Through children. children. My granddaughter speaks. And it's like, oh, wow. I mean, she gave me a rhyme of word that I needed before my husband died mm. for about three months. Mm. She said he can be, and you know, and I forget what it was right now, uh -huh. sitting up here, but <laughs> she gave me a word that I was able to hold on to. She said, I couldn't have did it without Jesus. Mm. Now Look she was God. eight years old or seven years old. I said, what do Look you mean? God. And she was mm. giving praise to her mother the way her mother treats her. All right. And she said, I All couldn't right. have did it without Jesus. All well, right. I just took that little seed right there. I couldn't have did it without Jesus. Jesus. Okay. And I walked that way for three months with those words. Mm. And then my husband, you know, passed away. But I had those three words. But you words still had the me. strength yes. of Christ. It yes. strengthened me. Yes. Because yes. I just meditated yes. on those 
those words yes, from her. Yes, yes. You know, he has spoken uh, 16 and then 8. He's mm -hmm. also spoken to uh, my son when he, was when he was 2 years old, literally two, year, 2 or 3 years old mm -hmm. uh, into my life because I really was afraid of a situation that was going on in my life and the Lord spoke to him um, peace into my heart. There have been times when literally I've seen bumper stickers that that address just what I was Your going issues. through. <laughs> just That's at right. The, just That's what right. I needed. Mm -hmm. There have been when people, you least expect it. There have been people just talking. You know, mm -hmm. they just talking. They don't realize how they are hitting the nail right just on the head. Me. And right speaking, and that's God speaking through mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. There have been times, there are one particular time, uh, sign languages, I love you. It's like oh, this. Oh, it's beautiful. That's and beautiful up, language. God is my absolute witness. I was walking one morning, doing my early morning walk, and up in the sky, it <laughs> was like mm, this. See? A cloud. A cloud. Goodness. A cloud in this formation, formation. of a cloud. Like this. And I looked up and I just smiled because of the fact see? that I, I, I that's read just the God. Sign. He's just so awesome. That's just God. <laughs> See, but sometimes when you're not doing that walk, when I get out and do my early morning walk, uh -huh. but sometimes I allow myself to get so busy, I never omit my worship time, uh -huh. but I don't get my time to exercise during the early morning. Uh -huh. But those nights when I come back home and I haven't walked, I haven't uh -huh. relaxed, yeah. I'm just mm -hmm. nonstop, mm -hmm. I'll sleep. And sometime it'll come to me in a dream. In a dream. So in a dream, because I have to, he has to find me at a quiet time. Yes, yes Sometimes yes. I allow my brain yes, and yes, my mind just yes, to go so fast yes. that he has to tell me, okay, now shut down. Yes. <laughs> and yes. sometime will wake me up at three o'clock or three thirty in the morning. Mm. I say, oh Lord, give me just half an hour more. <laughs> just half an hour more. I know my soul. He said, no, no, uh -huh. it's time now. So mm -hmm. if he would have shut his eye for a twinkling, and I mm. woke up at three thirty without him, yeah. where would I have mm -hmm. been? You wouldn't be here sitting here with us. And that, that's just how much he's in, into us, that he wants to so speak to our hearts. I know uh, <laughs> some, somewhat like you, um, it's like, okay, when my eyes Not open, <laughs> boom, yeah. it's time to go. Yeah, it's uh, the zoom. Mm -hmm. But you know what, though, what I love, the way he really speaks to my heart, is early in the morning when my, eye, when a, when my eyes are opening, he gives me a song. A oh, song mm. that, that, that speaks to my heart. And s there have been times when I did not know all the words of the song, but I knew enough of the song to s research the song to find right. out what, what is he what's saying to me. Oh, right. yeah. And that has been awesome. I mean, mm. I mean, it, 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 it sort of it makes you smile. Yes. You're it so does. Because you're so special. You're so special. special. You, feel, you know, it's like, it, you, you kind of feel like nobody else has this. You kind of like nobody else has that relationship. Yeah, right. You know. And then you got to recheck yourself. Well, no, he's yours too because we both love it, but, we both, but I want but you to know I got something. I got something. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. And we all can attest that, you know, no, no, no. Right. I know you ladies. I know you know, know the Lord. And, and Bishop you, can bring forth a message and, oh, he's talking to, to me because to me God only. gave him a message for Just me. Just for me only. Yes. So all, all of you who is in here, you're in yeah. on my right. time. Because Personal and God. you can dismiss yourself other than it looks better with all of you here. <laughs> But that's the reality of what we're talking about. God yes. does speak. And he speaks in such a personal way mm -hmm. personal. that you think that you're the only one he's speaking no one to. And that's the not the case. One. And I love it. There have oh. been times when I've literally felt his mm -hmm. arms around me. You know what I'm saying? Times yes. when I've needed to be loved. I felt his yeah, um, I his felt him pull me up close to him. Mm -hmm. And I know mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. We're not crazy. No. We're talking about a loving, a loving God. Yes. Oh, please. A loving a true God. loving family. And God. you know. Oh. There's alcohol, there's drugs. Okay, so people say they speak to him. Uh -huh. Come get me, I need you, <laughs> I need you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. But it's nothing like when Christ speaks to mm. you. And it just goes from your toes to the roots of uh -huh. your hair to the, the, the fine mm. tips. Mm -hmm. Whether you got split in or not, <laughs> doesn't matter. it's there. But it's so overwhelming. It's, it's a feeling that you can't describe and people want to say that you can't feel him but that's not a true statement mm -hmm. because no. there are times sure there's times you don't but mm -hmm. there's so many times when you do mm -hmm. feel him mm -hmm. and the reward is so good oh. that there's no way you want to oh. turn away from him and that's where belief comes in. yes yes yes, yes. yes. some mm -hmm. people yes. do need to feel yes. something yes. Yes. And he, and he you're there and he caters to, to every need where you are mm -hmm. that's it. what you need to, mm -hmm. to to recognize who he is that's it that's where he will meet that's us right and the Saul to Paul, uh, mm. girl, go straight from Saul on the change. road, get a feeling, and next Drastic thing change. you know, here you Brand are new person. Paul. Two things I, I want to ask right up in here. Number one, how do we know it's God speaking? Because, you know, you well, brought up a good point. People are doing some crazy things mm -hmm. and saying that God told, told them to them. go in and mass kill everybody up in the room, mm -hmm. store shoot. How do we know that God is speaking? How can we distinguish the voice of God? 
I would say from the word of God. Okay. God does not contradict his word. Okay. I agree with that. And, and I, the, the living spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy bear spirit. witness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for speaking on the word of God, dealing with children again, okay. I have to go down to a little simpler please, level. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. There's the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. There's children's version of, yeah, of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the New King James Version is a little a too little, much meat. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For, for new believers. Mm -hmm. But when you get that children's version or this new Make living so translation, plain. oh, it's so plain, you'll sit there and think it's a novel. And yeah. before you get a chance to really realize that this is the word of God, mm -hmm. you are saying to other people, please leave me alone. Do you <laughs> yeah. see I'm reading? <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. exactly. And by the time you finish, it's just, you, you leave out kind of glowing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I find that when you double check whatever and confirm what God has given you in his word, mm -hmm. if you don't understand the King James or if you, you want to go into right. the Hebrew or mm -hmm. the Greek, get something simple. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Read it and enjoy exactly. it. I bought um, the cartoon versions mm -hmm. for my younger children. Okay. And okay. they read it. They enjoy it. They get as much meat as they need, mm -hmm. which okay. is just a little maybe exactly. pablum. Exactly. <laughs> but it's enough for them. And they it's confirm stabilized. it. And when uh -huh. sometimes... Um, through just reading those, again, I'll go back to my child because that's who I have mm -hmm. a very personal relationship right. with. She had um, experience with God mm -hmm. where she wanted to know if she should continue doing something educationally. She wanted to know if she should continue dancing and, mm -hmm. okay. and acting. Uh -huh. And so she wants to be a, a molecular biologist, molecular engineer, doing medical research. Mm -hmm. okay. So she put out a fleece. Now this came from doing early and she put out a fleece. She said, Lord, it was a rainy season. She mm -hmm. said, Lord, if it's dry tomorrow and a sunny day, then I know that I'm on the right track. Okay. Lo and behold, that next day, it was sunshine. I mean, a hot sunshine <laughs> day. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> That's all we needed. That's with all that we one. needed. Mm -hmm. And it was enough for me to mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of it she remembers and needed to know, but it was for me to know. And I needed again to yes, hear that from to, God. Uh -huh. Because I don't know if my faith was at a place to put out a fleece that she, big. Mm. But God will meet us That's right where we, we are. are. And the thing about in a relationship, not only uh, can does God speak to us, but we can talk to him just like you said, your daughter. We can say, you know what? Now, what's up? I keep hearing mm -hmm. people talk about you, God. Mm -hmm. And if there is a God, Let show me. me. Yeah. Yeah. Show me. Show mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I declare he will do just that. He'll show, show you. Me. Because why does, he, why does he communicate to us? Because he loves, he loves us. us. That's he doesn't he doesn't want us none of us to perish because we are going to perish without him. Mm -hmm. oh, definitely. You know, people talk about how much they are their own God. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it's going to be some rude awakening in the mm -hmm. end time. He he, mm -hmm. he does not want us to spend eternity in hell. Hell, hell is he, real. Hell is real. And he didn't real. have to create us no. unless he wanted someone to right. communicate oh, with. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He 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 mm -hmm. desires Design. fellowship with us. Mm. He speaks to us over in the midnight hour. There have been times when I've just held my Bible and I, and I, and I felt Closeness. his presence. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I felt his love. And just so put it under your pillow uh, and sleep on oh, it. Oh, girl, I've just been there. I've gone to sleep with it in my arms <laughs> yes. and just holding on to it. Mm -hmm. What would you say, what would be your advice, uh, because we are down to the last few minutes of the show, what would be your advice to that person who just cannot just will know, not cannot, who just will not believe that there's a God, Holly. I would say instead of forcing them into it, just asking them to spend a season of time with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just spend a season. Read some of his word. Ask him to do impossible things. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I could say to, to transform your right. mind or your mm -hmm. mind if you weren't with Christ. Mm -hmm. But he can do it. He says, just plant the seed, let him water it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So supply them with the tools that they need and just ask them, if you're willing to give God a few months of your life, mm -hmm. there's nothing to lose but so much to gain. It's wow. kind of like money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. If you find that God is not what we've said he is, I'm not talking about half-hearted living for God. I'm talking about no, if no, you no. full-heartedly seek him and you find that it, it, you know, it's, it's a joke, it's, it's a game, then take your life back. Ha ha. But if you really trust mm -hmm. him, if you really experience him, you won't take your life back. That's You'll right. wonder why you didn't do it before. Pamela, what would you have to say to our audience? Well, well, I would also like to say, you know, we never see the win, but we believe it's there. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Has, have you seen my heart? Have any of you seen my heart? I haven't seen your heart. But I have a heart. I, I do have a heart. I have to believe But it's it. not visible. Right. 
Exactly. But I have faith that it's there. Exactly. When you wake up in the morning and you see the clouds, mm -hmm. when you see the hills, when you see the sunshine, mm -hmm. when you see the handiwork of the Lord, He oh. is real. Mm -hmm. oh, he's very real. And mm -hmm. He will meet you just simply say, Lord, just show me. Just yes. show me something. Yes, yes. And He will do it. Yes, yes. Easy and simple. Easy and simple. Easy and, and you know and what? And, and that's the problem that is too simple. And people, right. It's and too they simple. Bombard. Analyze. They want to <laughs> yeah. hammer in. Yeah. Really, all you got to do is say, mm-hmm. He's take and eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take and for eat. God so John three sixteen, for God so loved the, the world, world that He gave His only begotten only. Son, that whoso believeth Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God speaks to mere man and to and to us sinful man because of His love for mm -hmm. us and because His desire is that we do spend eternity with Him, and and one can choose to ignore God now. But, but God is not a God that will be forever ignored. And so we challenge you, our audience, to know that we are talking about the God of the heavens, the God of the earth. Yes. Holly, would you just pray for our audience and pray for us too? <clears throat> oh, dear heavenly and gracious Father God, how we just thank you for coming into our lives, yes. for guiding us and giving us rest and peace. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father God, I pray for those who do not know you, Lord. Yes. yes I pray that a seed has been planted. Yes. yes. That yes. you will water it and it will flourish yes. and that it will be big, that yes. it will be awesome. Yes. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes that Lord. That every being that he is in the reach of my voice. Yes comes to know you and love in the name yes. of Jesus yes. Yes. and to receive you as their own. Yes, yes. God. For the fathers to become fathers to their children, yes. not only in parenting, yes. biologically, yes. but also spiritually, yes. Yes. raising their children in the way that they need to be raised, yes. knowing who Christ is as the leader of their lives. Yes. Father God, we pray for the mothers, we pray for the children, we pray for the ministry. Yes, in God. Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Again, it's been our pleasure to be with you on this hour uh, of the, for the Spice of Life. You're trying to find love in all the wrong places. Seek God. He will fill that voidness in your life. Until next time, know that we love you. We're praying for you. And does God really speak? Yes, yes he does. Yes. We Just love listen. you. Yes, Take care does. of yourselves. Until next time. God wow. is good. He's, He's so awesome. awesome.